What's going on everybody? Marty here and welcome to my Mechanism V10 live stream world. So I did quite a bit of work yesterday. I did a whole lot of stuff. We did a live stream. Usually I like to keep these things about an hour and a half, you know. Um, on the weekends I go a little longer, but last night I did seven and a half hours. So I didn't want to have that VOD up because no one's ever going to watch that, right? So I wanted to give like kind of like a run through of what I did in case you were one of those people that like to follow along on the VODs. Um, we built the base got the structure up and instead of living in the cave we now have a workshop got the digital miner doing all kinds of different stuff what has it got going on now we're getting coal all right that's perfect um i wanted to get some food so we've got some cooked chicken in a chicken farm it's not the most efficient anymore but it does that so if we were to go with the ch cooked chicken and we stick it in this machine this was one of the first things i built I wanted to do quality of life and thus that means get food going so that makes a nutritional paste and then it stores it into the canteen so the canteen's really cool you just use it to eat so I've got 7,050 millibuckets of nutritional paste and each one of my little chicken nuggets is worth 100 so if I had one left and I ate the nutritional paste it would fill up nine and it would take away 900 from the stored nutritional paste. So it's like a one-time eat thing. So it's really nice, really quick, and I love it. It's amazing. So let's go ahead and do that, um, get that stuff going. Also, we redid a bunch of this stuff uh, before we had the electrolytic separator making the hydrogen, and the hydrogen going straight into the gas-burning generator. So what I ended up doing is building the pressurized reaction chamber. So now we have hydrogen going in there and water, and then we also have biofuel, and that creates ethylene. And then we take the ethylene and burn it in the gas burning generator. And look at that, we get 1.4, 1.1 K Fe per tick. That's 1,000, so 11 to 1,400 forage energy per tick. So it works pretty great. Um, and then the rest, whatever's left over, I try to get it to go down here. And then I've got a little thing. But the biofuel... Where am I getting this stuff? All right, so we're going over here. And actually, let's go outside. I built this farm, and this is based on Mumbo Jumbo's farm, his uh, vanilla farm. So we've got a bunch of observers and some pistons, and whenever one of these guys grows, it moves the stem to attach to the pumpkin, thus causing this a block update, thus causing this to emit a redstone signal, and all these pistons to fire and then it'll knock down the pumpkin. So underneath what we've got is some hopper carts that just drive back and forth and then they run over top of these hoppers and drop off everything that they've got in them and then it jumps in the chest. And the chest we have hooked up to the logistical transporter comes over here, goes into a crusher. The crusher then crushes it and makes the biofuel and then it comes all the way over and up through here and goes into the pressurized reaction chamber and then it makes the hydrogen and stuff making power um, so it's pretty sweet uh, upstairs what else did I do I got rid of the storage drawers mod because I totally forgot that mechanism has the bins and they're just as good well almost just as good um, but I wanted to keep everything as simple and as mechanism as possible because I want to make sure that this mod pack, or not mod pack, but this, this, yeah, mod pack that I've put together is as simple and no bloat whatsoever. So if a mod does it, there's no chance another mod's going to have it. Um, so that's that. We've got all that stuff still the same. Um, we got all these going. All right, nothing really new here. I did upgrade everything to its max so eight speed eight, eight energy this one gets a gas upgrade everything is completely upgraded so now it goes through boom 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 you know it just goes through really quick and then makes our stuff so that's pretty sweet um all right so what else did we work on let's go down here oh wait not wrong way down here is the big one. All right, this is the main thing that took us a long time to build. This is the fission reactor. I don't quite have this completely set up yet. Um, I may have gone overboard and put two radioactive waste barrels because I don't know if there's a way to check and see like how much stuff's in it. 
Um, I can't see if it's full, if it's empty, what is up. Um, but you get some steam, some serious amounts of steam. And right now I'm just dumping it here, letting it store up in the in the coolant tank. Um, this thing is, yeah, 128,000 is nothing. It filled up like instantly. It filled up instantly. So what we do is we take the steam and pump it into a turbine and then we get power from that. So you need the reactor, the fission reactor, going into steam, going into a turbine, creating power, and then powering your base, all right? So what we've got <laughs> is to start it all off is we've got an electric pump, max upgrades with speed and energy, and that is providing water to the fission reactor, all right? So it also takes water and dumps it in the electrolytic separator. It takes water and puts it in the pressurized reaction chamber, and it takes water and dumps it into the rotary condensator. So we take this water, separate it into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen comes over into the pressurized reaction chamber, and if we go upstairs and look at the digital miner, we are making some, see I need a better way to get out to that side of the base. We are making some coal. We have that thing going down and getting all the coal. So I'm gonna take a stack here. Let's see, we're still going. All right, good, I need to upgrade that. I didn't upgrade that. We need to get that thing rolling and going faster. All right, so let's go down oh, and let's go over here. So if we put a stack of coal into the pressurized reaction chamber, we're going to get a byproduct of hydrogen, which I still need to get that vented and emptied out somewhere. Um, so that's like the only thing I need to do on this. But we also get sulfur dust. And then the sulfur dust goes into the chemical oxidizer. The chemical oxidizer takes that and turns it into, what does it turn it into? Sulfur dioxide. Okay, so we take the sulfur dioxide mixed with the oxygen and we will end up getting over here sulfur trioxide. So we get the sulfur trioxide mixed with water vapor and that's what this rotary condensator does. It takes water and turns it into water vapor and it will make sulfuric acid. So the sulfuric acid comes around and it goes into the chemical dissolution chamber and it you know we mix that with the fluorite which is a mineable thing oh shoot i had a storage drawer down here filled with fluorite and then i removed the mod and now it's all gone oh well that's not too big of a deal but the fluorite with the sulfuric acid comes through and it makes hydrofluoric acid all right so we've got the hydrofluoric acid so on this side we have an enrichment chamber so let's get that going too We'll go back up here, and we're just going to grab a stack, you know, a stack of uranium. So the uranium we take, and that is all the triple or processing. So uranium goes into the enrichment chamber. It comes out as the yellow uranium cake. Is that what it is? Yellow cake uranium. So the yellow cake uranium does its thing, processes it, sends it over into this and to make uranium oxide. So the uranium oxide and the hydrofluoric acid mix to make uranium hexafluoride. All right, that is created and then dumped in the isotopic centrifuge. And then what that does is turns this into fizzle fuel. So the fizzle fuel comes over into our fission reactor as our fuel. And then when we run this thing, it starts building up temperature pretty good. And it, cre it uses that fizzle fuel at a very slow rate too. So if we looked at the stats, I, you can adjust the burn rate of the fizzle fuel. So right now we are at 0.1. All right, so if we look at that, we're gonna go back here. My water is draining significantly because it's burning more. So if I go 0.05, a little bit slower right it's actually going up now so when the heat gets higher that will start to go down so we would probably adjust this a little bit maybe 0.03 or something like that and it's just you know adjusting those limits are just going to determine how much steam you you create and how much how quick 
likely you run out of water. So it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to take another electric pump and hook that up to all this stuff and then one just alone to this or maybe two of them going into this to try to, to build it or upgrade these pipes. Um, so it does that, it creates that, and you can see how quick the steam's going up. So the steam would go into the, the turbine. The waste comes out right here, goes into this. Now one quick tip, if you have your configurator, before you set stuff up, um, here, I'm going to break that. Before you set stuff up, if I set this to, what do I want to set this? Oops. What do I want to set this to? I can't remember. Is it wrench? Oh, shoot. I just screwed that up. All right. So she's still running. We're still good. So we don't want wrench mode. <laughs> Items? Nope. Uh, it, it would have to be gases, I guess, then. Okay, yeah. So, shift, right-click, output waste. Output coolant, which that is what this does. Input only, which that's an input, and that's an input. Or output waste. So, you want to make sure you set that to that. Hook that up. So, now it is outputting waste. And I forgot to show you that the waste was building up. Let's try it again. Let's break that. Let's take a look at this. Waste builds up. It builds up very slowly, though but it does build up. So we can put that down. And now we have our fission reactor, which is brand new with mechanism V10. Pretty sweet, right? Hell of a process. Hell of a process to get all this stuff. Now the nuclear waste, the nuclear waste can be used for a bunch of stuff. We can make the polonium, right? We can put that back into an isotropic centrifuge and get polonium, or we can go with the solar neutron activator, and it takes 10 millibuckets of nuclear waste to make one polonium, 10 to make one. So whichever one you decide to make, what one looks easier to you? I'd say this one is probably a better. So you get your polonium, and then you can make the fluoride dust into polonium pellets, turn that into S PS casing, polonium pellets, we can use all that stuff for other things too. So polonium plus water plus fluorite dust, polonium pellets, <clears throat> modification station, like all these upgrades. And then we can start getting into the mecha suit. So that could be something that happens really soon. QIO, that's another very cool thing. That's another V10 thing. And that's almost like if I just searched up QIO. You know, it's got some of the basic stuff for, like, applied energistics. We've got the QIO dashboard. I'm guessing that's going to be something similar to, like, the the, the displays, you know. Uh, the terminals. We've got an importer, an exporter, redstone adapter, drive array, different size drives. Look at 16,000 items of 128 different types, you know. 16 billion items. That's billion with a B of 8,192 different types. So, super massive QIO drive, antimatter pellet. Holy crap, how do you make antimatter? I must know. <laughs> Polonium and the critical phase shift. Shift something. So there you go. One bucket of polonium gets you point, or gets one millibucket. One millibucket. We need a thousand buckets. <laughs> or a hundred buckets. No, a thousand buckets of polonium to get one antimatter. So, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet stuff. I'm really looking forward to getting into this a little more deep. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the VODs, the live streams. And I do plan on, once I make my way through this and get to learn everything, like, the back of my hand, we are definitely, definitely going to do a Let's Play tutorial kind of thing with mechanism so i'm really looking forward to it guys and i've got some cool ideas like um how to do some stuff because one of the things i'm going to need really soon is going to be a uh oops it's going to be a tree farm so i've got some ideas and that might be the next thing that we do but anyway hope you guys are enjoying the streams the videos all that fun stuff and uh don't be afraid to click that subscribe and then the little bell so if i do live stream you guys will get notified. But anyway, I'll catch you all later. My name's Marty, signing out. Peace.